So let's talk about our track. Which was our track? Our track was um, Appreciative Inquiry and Positive Visualization. That sounds interesting. Yes, really, it does. What excited you about being a track host for that kind of a track? I was forced to do that. <laughs> you were forced to do it. That no, just kidding. Been, that must have been quite an individual who forced you to do that. Yes. He's from America. <laughs> ah, one of those guys. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so let's let's talk about our track. Okay. So you and so now you're very deflecting back to me to talk about our track. Our track was focusing on linking appreciative inquiry with the visualization and how do we change people's mental maps, their visual maps, when they hear things, when they ask questions. Um, we talk to people about their own mental maps and how they ask questions and we found the group rather engaging. Uh, how did you find them? Very engaging as well. <laughs> as well. I'm really tired, so... Okay, so yes. you're gonna let make me speak most of the time. That, that would be happy, I got that. <laughs> That's it. Um, well, let me say this, for those people who were not there, they missed, an, a, they missed an absolutely phenomenal piece of visualization created by my partner here. Thank who, you. Who not only captured the ideas, who also exemplify what we wanted to do around positive visualization. Um, and I think if you we, if we need to think about our track, it was really about creating the image that sticks with you. It's finding that visual picture that just won't leave your mind, and so you use it again and again. And the analogy would be, you know, we all know what a smiley face is. If everybody sees a smiley face, they know what it is. And so we had an example in the room about a dog on ice. That, you know, when you look at it, think about a dog on ice, running on ice, there's a lot of activity. There's just not much movement. And that's one of the images that really stuck with people. And so we actually created that visual right in the room. And what we wanted to achieve is... When people see that image now, for those that were in the room, they will know what a dog on ice means. And it won't require any explanation. And I, I think we had four nationalities and three continents in the room. So we just went global with an image. That's what we wanted to do and to make those more, uh, hopefully more positive images than a dog on ice. Yet it was a humorous image, so it, it denoted things. And today was the launching point for a symbol safari we're going to do tomorrow around creating positive images and we asked our participants to go out and practice questions see what kind of images they got what new images they got what different images and uh, we're gonna we've asked them to do that for the next two days and then on friday we'll see what we learned and we'll do a little mining and sharing of stories um did i miss anything no i think you said everything <laughs> okay um I'll make one observation. One person, when they asked their questions, um, came back and said, you know, it's really frustrating. I couldn't talk. I wanted to give people the answer, <laughs> and I just had to listen. Yeah. Yet I had an image of what I wanted, and they weren't complying with that image. And so it really was hard to do. So it really showed that as facilitators, we also have mo mental models that support and uh, grant continuity to what we do that need to change if we want our participants to change. That's about as much as I'm going to say. We just had a good time. We laughed a lot. People were happy. They were energetic. Um, and I think we got them to think a little bit differently. Thanks so much, Ralph. It was it, a pleasure it was, to it work with you. It was a pleasure to work with you. Yes, it was, and by the way, we make an incredible team. Yes. It doesn't get much better.